Hello, I'm Entrylissim and welcome back to Let's Play Stellaris Apocalypse 2.0 DLC update. Right, so uh, we are a couple of episodes in. The Dwarf to Spoilers are doing quite well. Our lovely race of barbaric to spoiling dwarves. However, I have kind of neglected to build many outposts. I've been waiting just to try and find another system that we could inhabit, but... Uh, well, quite frankly, it's not gone all that well. I think what we'll do is we'll grab this one down here, which is an 18, 60% habitability, and we'll probably just chuck out a load of outposts. Um, you are meant to use outposts. Just spread them around, put one in every system eventually. Uh, but I've neglected to do it because I was trying to wait for a really good system, but one never came across. And to be honest, if one never comes across, I really can't take advantage of that. So we're building down there. You are building a mining station in Niflheim, I think. Once you do that, we'll probably want to get ourselves another outpost. In fact, we'll build ourselves another construction ship right now. Just so we can get that working pretty fast. I could upgrade these. Yeah, it's, it's going to happen. It's going to happen in episode three. I could upgrade these and I would be able to get a little bit more in the way of uh, minerals. I think the increase is like plus one. However... It would cost me, uh, I think, 0.5 more energy. So it's not the best use of my minerals right now. My best use of my minerals would be to just uh, use them for outposts and stuff. Just wait until that happens. Maybe build like another corvette or something. But for now, we'll unpause and we will get going. You've got a new slots. Um, Construction. Should go hydroponics. Complete. You know what? We'll go hydroponics bay. I do need extra food. Anomaly found. Well, that's annoying. We've got a lot of mining drones in the way. It's kind of blocking our route this way. Fine. Construction. Pirate sighted. Okay, well, we'll do that in a second. Firstly, you should be running away from this. Uh, you shouldn't really be in that system. That's just going to put this out there. It's not a good idea. So the lawless Ubertella system has become a safe haven for increased power. Ooh. So this can happen if you have uh, a system which I think borders three or more systems or something like that. I can't remember how much. There's a chance that you will spawn a pirate station. So we've got one over here now. We need a fleet to, be able to deal with that. Luckily, we do have a fleet. I'm going to send them over. I think they're probably strong enough. And of course, you know, we've got gale speed, which helps a little bit for the evasion. All right, we'll send you over. You've got no orders, so I, your order should be to uh, probably put a outpost here. I mean, I really should connect all the outposts. Yeah, but for now, we'll just put one here, just because it's got six energy, seven minerals. Tactical retreat. That is one hell of a retreat you're going to do. Tactical retreat. Oh, hello, and there's a pirate fleet. Yeah, I don't think we'll be able to take out the system itself. That fleet is going to be enough. Right, tradition available. Now, we've finished expansion. What do we want to go? Um, Supremacy is pretty tempting. When you finish Supremacy, uh, you get War Doctrine Policy in addition. War, War Doctrine Policies. Okay, they've changed that slightly, I think. Oh my god, all the things have changed. Uh, Harmony is kind of... It gets... Does reduce unrest, right? Reduce unrest is actually really helpful for us. In a defensive war, eh. Governing ethics attraction, that's actually helpful. Leader lifespan, also really good. Actually, harmony is strangely good for us. Uh, prosperity. Mm. Upkeep, build speed. Upkeep. Energy grid and energy nexus produce unity. That's really nice. Uh, extra energy. Domination. Uh, empire leader capacity increased by two. Governor level cap increased by two. Tributaries, vassals. This one's nice. Plus unity per subject. But I don't think we're really going to care about having vassals. I think as a despoiler, we should either take territory or we should raid territory. We shouldn't have a vassal. That, that doesn't work for me. It doesn't fit the niche. Adaptability. Uh, farms produce mineral. Hmm. That's a pretty nice top uh, perk. Habitability. Terraforming. Ugh. Unit output increase uh, per different planet class you've colonized. Also pretty nice. Gene modification point. Hmm. 
food output increased. You know what? Adaptability is actually pretty helpful. Um, considering that we've got a pretty crappy start right now, adaptability might be the way to go. Uh, ship upkeep reduced by 10%, though, is just... Oh, it's just so good. Yeah, I'm going to go Prosperity. I think we need that for our fleet maintenance. And I will also... Now, I'm going to show off the new thing here. Fleet Manager. If we go to this fleet here, you'll see that we've got 12 Corvettes of Vespa class. This is our Classes 1 fleet. What we can do is increase that to, say, 14 Corvettes, and then we can hit this button here, Reinforce Fleet. And that will build two Corvettes and then send them over to the fleet. Pretty helpful. And that's saying here that I think we're buying or... Oh no, these these are the extra ships we can add to the fleet. Okay. Encounter. Ooh, right. Let's look at this encounter. Ah, whoops. Cancelled it. Did I cancel it? No, I didn't cancel it. I just clicked on that. Cool. Right. Encounter in true. It is... Ooh! It's a curator of some kind. Oh yeah, we well, know we can't do anything there. Uh, do you want to go back to automated exploration? Can't you survey that system? It was like, I failed my automated exploration, but mate, there's exploration things right here. Oh well. Construction complete. Right, energy credits is... I have to watch that a little bit. Uh, definitely increasing this because getting extra unity is great. This I'm going to leave as a B because I don't want to override that. This I will build a power plant on. And I've got a lot of research stuff here. Just not really what I need right now. Okay, how are we doing with the construction ships? Uh, you come over here and start base that. Start filling out with star bases. Construction complete. We did see Any a fleet here. Exposed. Oh, hello! There they are. Star system charted. Oh, let's slow down. Now, we have got some pretty little lights going on, so I'm gonna shut off the UI, and we're gonna go nice and slow. Oh yeah, I, I really like the fact that they now sort of do arcing maneuvers instead of just sitting on the spot and rotating and stuff. Like, this looks a lot better. They're using guns. Have we got our extra ship coming in yet? Something not coming in behind them, so it's not going to split their fleet up. Oh yeah, our fleet, uh... Because we've got longer range. Are we just running away and they're going to have to play catch up or... I don't know. This is pretty cool, though. It's a shame I can't get the camera any further down. Ah, uh, the lasers are so bright. <gasps> oh, we killed one! Huzzah! I gotta admit, these uh, graphics for the shield do very much remind me of Endless Space when I'm this zoomed in. Because Endless Space is all about the, yeah, battles are kind of eh in terms of tactical stuff, but they look really pretty. And now I'm like, yeah, this looks so pretty just being able to come in like this, have the ships actually moving around and doing more stuff than they used to. Let's uh, have a look at how the battle's going. We haven't lost any. Are we getting close on anyone? We've got one leaving. So yeah, now um, the ships will attempt to leave combat. If they get destroyed, destroyed. Uh, if they if they get, I think if their shield and armor go down, I think they will consider leaving combat. I'm not sure exactly what the threshold and rules are on it. I'm sure someone knows down below and can explain it. There we go, up to thirteen. They've joined. They've joined in the middle of combat. <gasps> that didn't used to happen. If you got fleets went into combat, they wouldn't join. They'd override any other orders. Oh, I need to research society. Uh, we'll get rid of the tar blocker, climate control, because we do live on Arctic worlds. And 
and one left. Boom. Okay, go heal up. Good job there. Is there no science to be done in this system now? No? Okay, shame. No, oh, we can't do that. Go away. Shoot. Right. Everyone's building stuff, or at least attempting to build stuff. They're taking their time. I gotta admit, the change to this whole hyperdrive system and having ships having to go across systems to get to the next hyperdrive point slows down movement so much. I'm like, are you there yet? No. Are you there yet? No. Are you there yet? Because I'm so used to wormholes. And of course, they have to go to the center of the system, which is extra travel time as well to be able to build outposts. I feel like, you know, I'm the eight year old in the back of the car going, Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Complete. Is it eight or is it five? I don't know. Probably more like, you know, any age actually. In fact, I'm. I would say I'd be that guy, but I wouldn't actually anymore because I have a smartphone if I was in the back of the car. I'd just look it up on my smartphone and be like, I'm not gonna bother them. Just like, Oh, where am I? Oh, we're going there to there, and Google says it's gonna be an hour. Hello. Mutagen Merchant Guild. Hi. That's nice. Right, we've got this built, which means extra minerals. That's great. I mean, energy and food are the main problem, but, you know, I'll take minerals. We could be so much higher right now in uh, stuff if I'd actually expanded, but I, I, I waited. I was hoping for something better and it didn't happen. Uh, we'll build from Niflheim because it's closer and we will land here. And I'm glad we're getting rid of these uh, glaciers. Uh, we'll stick with the default name for now. I don't know if I can really be bothered to rename every planet. It's often my intention that I'll start around and be like, you know, I'll rename every planet, and then I always fail. Oh no! The DRV Adretus has been orbiting DRV Adretus for some time. Um, I've seen this as a bug in scripts for like the entire time Stellaris has existed. Kind of surprised that isn't gone yet. Is it just somehow... There's no way it could be a Mayan thing. This is the script. Monitoring examinations about incident when the science officer decided to suit up and spacewalk on the asteroid and procure some mineral samples. As they touched down at surface, the radio-like transmission suddenly and dramatically started increasing intensity. The microbes boiled alive. Uh, them alive, I assume, within minutes. Oh no, does that mean one of my science ships no longer has a science off? Yeah. God damn it. And I need energy to hire a new one. Fine. I should also probably um, take the spark of genius and put them somewhere else. Anomaly research speed is nice, but now I've got a level 4, I should probably put you somewhere, like, more important. Uh, experience gain. Yeah, I'll take experience gain. You're also the youngest. Okay. You say you're going to do automated. Right. Let's have a look at our research. Everyone's got something applicable. I don't know if I think... Uh, Colonize New Worlds is actually pretty helpful because I want to be able to get rid of these blockers. Uh, propulsion. That's useful for missiles. That's great. Field, you know what? I'm happy having field manipulation because I actually want more shield stuff. People say that I need that spark of genius because it's a 10% research buff, which is really nice. But I actually want the things these give me, which is a higher chance of getting things in these areas. I'll probably change up for spark of genius later on, but we might as well level them a little bit for we switch them out and try and get a few texts that are actually applicable. Anomaly found. Uh, sons of activity on this alien rock. Good for you. Um, we could grab 4-4. Four, four. Um, you know what we'll grab? Can I grab here? Yes. Actually, I'll grab one closer. And start filling this area out slowly. It's going to be a horrible border gore. I hope you're okay with that. If you're not, I don't care. You better be okay with it. We've got no choice. Uh, none of these I really need. Okay. Fleet. Take this route. 
We're going to go kill off those pirates. Failure. Damn it. Construction okay. complete. At least nothing bad happened from it. Uh, we've got an active building. We've got energy inactive over here. That's fine. I'll probably move someone over from... Research, just so we've got the energy increasing again. Because we are going to start colonizing soon, and that's going to cost us energy. Star system charted. Now, construction complete. We have another outpost up here. Outposts don't count towards this starbase capacity. That's not outpost capacity. It's starbase capacity, so we're fine there. Okay, we've heard of an alien. Let's try and make contact with them first because I want the influence. Really important right now. Influence is really the cap for how fast you can expand. So we're going to try and mainline that. It kind of sucks, though, that our uh, society is pretty nap in terms of research. Construction complete. Hi. Oh, wait. I should probably try and get a screenshot of this for our thumbnail, so... Okay, that's going to make a pretty badass thumbnail. I do say so myself. Oh, yeah. To be fair, it's only got like 72 or something strength, so its real strength is in its fleet. There's a fair point to be said for actually just letting them spawn and then just raiding them, because you get good loot for raiding them. Um, where should I next build an outpost? Probably here. Actually here. Actually, destroyed, and we get 100 energy and 180 minerals. Sweet. I'm actually going to say you build over here, because you're closer. It makes a lot more sense to do that. You can build a load of mining stations. Return to the nearest base. Is that return to nearest allied starbase? Yeah. Okay, isn't this a starbase? Yeah. I guess it's moving to the nearest shipyard. No nearest allied starbase. Yeah, I think this needs to have its uh, spoiler text changed. Not spoiler text, sorry. The mouse over text changed. Because I think it goes to nearest shipyard currently. Not starbase. Star system charted. Oh, hello. Ah, oh, it's a 12 Arctic world. Complete. Kinda crappy. And there we go, energy's diving because we've got our colony ship coming. Technology secured. Fusion missiles. Star system charging. Uh, destroyer. Thank you very much. Oh, hello. We found the borders of someone. Determined exterminators. Oh dear. We serve Warlord Marnius Kalgar. Organic vermin detected. Your infestation is galaxy. Cannot be permitted to continue. This changes everything. Uh, where are they? Do we even know where they... Oh, there they are. Hello. Oh, yep. They are going to be what we have to... F uh, they've got a lot of planets. Hi. That's appear. Yep, this is going to go interestingly. Um... We need to expand and fast. We're going to have to fight, 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 fight for our right to exist right now. And we can't even abduct them, really, because uh, they'll just die on our planets. They need to be in their hive mind to actually exist. So, yeah, our slow start has cost us a little bit. <sighs> right. We're going to have to start ramping up our military production, whether I like it or not. Anomaly found. I should really find a way to bind the fleet manager to something. I don't think you can in the Stellaris. I don't think you can make a bind, but like, if you look here, there's bindings for a lot of things, but not fleet manager. Fleet manager is super important these days. Mineral composition does not match projections. Good for you. Gonna have to try and find a way to uh, bottle them in. 
Construction complete. Construction complete. Damn. Although scans have revealed the cause of the odd metal composition, the planet is the crash site of a dozen massive spaceships, larger than anything we could have ever imagined. Their construction dates back several million years. Uh, we get a plus two mineral there. Yeah. Right, construction ship over here. Please do the thing with the swirling shadow modifier, because that will massively increase our income. And then mining station, and then you're good. Yeah, there's no way we can get past this to go search anywhere, so... Yeah, Hyperlims, I'm finding that you often get boxed in a lot more in the early game, because you can't really get past a lot of these uh, enemy alien griblies. So I think what we'll probably need to do is get the assist research much earlier than I normally do. And by much earlier, I mean I'll actually get it rather than just ignoring it. Uh, I guess return to the nearest shipyard. Do you, do you have a shipyard here? No, we don't. Oh, okay, you are removing. You are going to the nearest starbase. Okay. Uh, might need to get gun batteries and something. Ugh. Get a trade hub for the extra energy. Hmm. A mineral income isn't good enough right secured. now. Energy grid, capacity overload, good. Hyperdrive 2. And we get the hyperlane register. Assist for any ships in the system with FTL trial by identifying ideal connections for entering the hyperlanes and optimizing. Blah, 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 blah. Jump, uh, charge down, minus 20%. Jump, cooldown, minus 20%. Comet disengage chance, plus 20%. So the point behind this is it allows you to defend easier and move around easier in your empire. So the idea being that Wars don't just end up in a one fight. Okay, one side is obviously winning. It is useful, and it it's actually so useful, I'm pretty tempted to get it. Oh my god, Disruptors have complete shield and arm penetration now? What? That's crazy talk. I really want Disruptors now. This is a module, by the way. Jump charge down minus 25%. Uh, I want to say disruptors. I'm going to need the need the firepower. I'm also going to go to our Corvette and have a look at the missile boat. Because fusion missiles now have a 100% shield penetration and they do plus damage versus hull. So they're pretty helpful. And no longer do they just equal a coil gun or a laser. They actually have, you know, a G slot, which is a guided slot, I assume. Guided missiles. And if you have 100% shield penetration, I probably want something good against... Hmm. You know what? I won't actually do that. I'll do that when I've got disruptors. But I won't do it before that. Because that way the disruptors will also have extra damage versus those. Complete. Right. Do you want to... Set us up a uh, engineering, not engineering, sorry, energy thing. And then... This is going to be interesting. Star system charted. I'm going to deliberately leave these alien vessels to prevent them expanding near me. It means I'm going to be boxed in, but I've got plenty of space I'm not using here so far. Construction complete. Okay, you've done that. Well, come up here and start helping out here. Construction complete. Construction complete. Two, two, two. A lot of two minerals. Um, can I need something a little bit better, ideally. Need 15 more there. Need 15 more there, okay. Okay, what we will do is we'll come in and we'll grab the energy on the edge there. This construction ship... That's a five? 
Yeah, definitely. Let's let's get ready to take the system. A few more marks will have enough influence. This is going to be a race to see if we get squished. Found. We might well get squished. Large amount of ship debris in orbit. Some kind of battle. Hmm. Okay. Now a tradition. Shipyard build speed and building build speed increased. Energy up increased by 5%. In addition, trade hubs produce additional one energy. Yes. Transstellar corporations. We are barbaric to spoilers, but we have we have a corporation. I think this is actually kind of cool. I was like, actually, for a moment, this just doesn't work. But actually, this is space. You know, obviously, we've got a lot of infrastructure to be able to do these things. And so I think what we are is we have our own corporations and bureaucracy. And then we go raiding to be able to provide the resources for it. You know, we could set up mines and we could, you know, pay people a minimum wage. But instead, we just go and raid for it to fund our giant business. We're actually just one giant business. Yeah, let's get that. It's a non-traditional Dorf to spoilers, but then again, this isn't really traditional. It's 200 years in the future, so we're cool. Uh, are you able to do anything? No. Uh, you should also head home then. Signs of battle. Situation log updated. Oh, you don't have skill. Well, that sucks. Construction complete. Still superior. Construction complete. I might be able to take him into defensive war, but no chance on offensive war. Okay, go mine that. Uh, no, not enough influence to actually continue expanding for now, so put mining stations there. Colonization. We need to sort of kick ourselves into overdrive. And now we've got a stable economy. I think we can probably do some upgrades. I do need more food. We could really do with more food to just be able to get our growth going, because that's going to be really important to us. Right now, our dwarfs aren't expanding as much as I'd want. Complete. Cost of impact crater, something collided with the surface. Dun, dun, dun! And we'll research a physics lab. Well, upgrade to a physics lab. Asteroid collision. A fortuitous event! Can't take advantage of it because it's far away, so. Um, can you start just building one of these things? For now. Construction complete. And you? Could you build. I don't know what it is. Is it just one uh, thing there? Is someone building it already? I don't know. Right, anyway. Come over here and build mining. Oh, actually. We're so close to being able to afford another outpost. Yeah, move here. We're going to build an outpost. Get ourselves, you know, a little bit more joined up. Because right now our empire is a little bit messy. Construction complete. Construction complete. Okay, all the construction's being complete. Uh, construction complete. Quickly expand. We need to quickly get our... We, our economy's getting on track pretty quick, actually, now. Right. All doing well. We will build a mining network here and a mining network. Mm, not sure if we've got a mining network there. We also need to get ready with a larger fleet pretty soon. But 
One year and a quarter. Until we have destroyed- oh god. Slaves rally- stop rallying! This calls for action to clandestine slave meetings at night. Raise levels of defiance towards superiors and missing goods can mean only one thing. The slaves on Jotunheimer are radicalizing, spreading dissent and discord among their peers and fear for the rest of the population. Whatever they're up to, it can't be good- ah, stop doing it! It's annoying. Okay. What does that mean for unrest? Fine. We can accept that. Construction complete. Right. If you've completed that construction, build a research station. And once this one is done, I'll be very pleased to have complete. another world. Star system charted. Oh, hello. Climate control network. Brilliant. Slave processing facility. Pretty nice. And it also get slave army. I'm going to go for that. Yeah, I'm down. Actually. Uh, it's biolab. I thought for a moment it was a uh, food thing. I was like, I actually need the food. The food would actually be helpful right now. But fine. That's that's fine. I don't I don't need that. Actually fine. You know, just leave it. We call. Cool. Construction complete. Uh thought I'm lining up us there. So much energy. Complete. Let's look at my edicts. Uh, requires a thousand energy. I could do with, like, the healthcare campaign. Yeah, the Dwarf Despoilers really care about healthcare. Tactical retreat. Trade hub uh, requires a colonized planet. Okay. Uh, build whatever you can. Build, build mineral thing. Sphere of influence expanded. Oh, hello. We now a new planet. Sweet. Okay, food. Desperately need the food. But five minerals is a really nice one as well. So I'll put a mining network there. We'll clear that and we'll clear that. And that way we can use the food there and the minerals here. Might even like move people between planets because that actually costs energy now. Nearly everything costs energy that used to cost influence. Nearly everything. It's kind of crazy. Pirate sided. The Nordgon system. Okay. Well, let's get over that. Oh, it's a long way to go. Okay. We're going to try and do something about it, but uh, it might take us a little while. Construction complete. Enemy presence exposed. The new meta is kind of crazy, by the way. Spaceport under attack. Yeah. Construction complete. That poor spaceport. How far were we? I'm... We'll get there just in time to see it fall, I think. Technology secure. Destroyer? Sweet. Okay. Uh, robot. Oh, we've got slaves, but to be honest, we could do with the extra pops. Nebula refinery. Ooh, five minerals. And we get manual processing. Um, I'm still going to go mineral processing. I'll ignore the robots for now. I think since we're raiders, we really should focus on the slaves. Life signs. Dun, dun, dun. Yeah, there we go. It fell. God damn it. Oh, 
No, it didn't fall. Okay. Go kill off the Norgon system. Ooh, there's debris! Quick! Science chip! Go do the debris! Asteroid fauna. Hmm. They've evolved to live in the dark of deep space on an asteroid. Attacking enemy. Yeah, assets. you'll have no problem versus that. Right, we have enough influence to expand again. Which I wanna do. I wanna do to you. Ooh, ooh. There we go. You should grab all the things there. And you should grab all the things here as well. Hi. I'm going to close my borders to you as well. Their fleet power is overwhelming. Well, this is going well. Power station raided. Uh, only 1850. I was hoping for more. You know what? Let's station you over here. We're going to need a forward station. I'm going to put an anchorage in. Now, an anchorage uh, reduces... Oh, it doesn't reduce. No, that's the one that just gives us naval capacity. Mm -hmm. I'll put a shipyard in here or something. Mm. No, I'm actually not going to... I'm going to say we just build more ships. <laughs> Okay, so let's look at our ship design. Actually, how long do we get disruptors? Eh, just over two years. Okay, right. Ship design. Destroyer. I'm not sure we can really do much better. Like, maybe switch a coil gun in? But other than that... Uh, range 60, range 75. Coil guns have longer range? What? Things have changed! Okay. Try that. Oh my god, everything has changed. The meta is so different now. Sure. We'll go with that. And so, Fleet Manager, I would like to add a new type of ship. So, add ship design to fleet. I would like to add the destroyer. And then I think I can just be like... Build up to five. And I can try and reinforce. And it'll say, you can build one, but you still can't build four, which is fine. That's really nice. Okay, you do some Tiny science over here. It's fine. I also like these, the fact that that's, there's something that can be upgraded. There is a clearable tile blocker and pops that like buildings to work in. Which is great because I actually want this. Because if I put a building here, it'll ignore one of these two. I actually quite like having those. And I can't go to the volcano. I'll clear those. You. I'm going to resettle you. So, if I resettle you to that mineral... Actually, I'll go for the food. I really do need the food. And I need to resettle someone else, ideally. Could resettle someone from energy. Or just from the substandard food, to be honest. Yeah, let's do that. Now... We can give them hydroponic farms, which will increase Anomaly by two the food, which is going to be really useful. We're actually losing quite a lot of food right now. How's that influence? Good. 
Ooh, it's a league scientific base. We probably will not have enough to research it. Yeah, we need a five. So that belonged to the first league, a research base out on the fringes of our empire. I mean, it's actually kind of beyond the fringes of our empire. The point stands. Odd factory. A group of investigators found a hidden factory. The building at state of decay tell of an ancient civilization, one that excelled at constructing things that stood the test of time. We're using it to add to our production output. Oh, there it is. Huh. Yeah, that's cool. That's a 3-3. Three, three. Um, that also means I probably want to resettle someone to be in it because it's really good. Can I resettle someone? Who's, like, doing something crappy at the moment? Or who isn't doing food? Because we actually really, really need the food. Is someone doing something crappy over here? It's not food. I guess we could take someone from research. There we go. Construction complete. And then we will grab this four world. Make sure we're constantly constructing. You need a lot more construction ships in this new build. Construction considering getting another one. Right. We want to put a... I'm actually deliberately not boarding them right now. Because if I border them, uh, we're going to have some fun. Because they'll probably be like, Ah, you border us. Excellent. I rival you. Oh, look. My relations have gone down even further. I war with you. And I'll be like, No, please don't. At which point I die. Um... Star system chart. Outpost there. And I think this is probably a good place to call it for today. So this is looking great. Organic filth. Oh, yeah, that's great. Otherwhelming superior equivalent. Damn. Mm. That's uh that's a problem. That's really not good. Really not good. So I've been out really If you like, like, not subscribe, please consider subscribing. Will we survive until, you know, episode Five? Maybe six? I don't know. It's going to be tough. No one's going to lie with us. We're barbaric to spoilers, so... We've got to do this on our own. And I'm not sure of the new meta. Until next time, comment down below and stay shiny.